Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi has declared a state of emergency in parts of the country following days of deadly unrest. The cities of Port Said, Suez and Ismailia will now be under a 30-day curfew from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Morsi is calling for dialogue but has promised to take more action to stem the violence. Clashes have, however, continued in Egyptian streets, Sad al reports. Along the 18 days of the Egyptian revolution in 2011, the 28th of January, is the most significant. On that day, Egyptians woke up to find cell phone networks and the internet down, but they still went out in thousands to protest. It was called Angry Friday, a day when most of the martyrs died. Uh, Jan 28, from my point of view, was a milestone to the revolution. It changed a lot. Um, the revolution, one of the main goals was um, uh, what uh, the police did and, and how they treated people. So on Jan 28, it was a milestone because people responded to what the police had to do, uh, did. And for some reason, they're still doing it two years after the revolution, which is uh, kind of devastating to us. Today, Egyptians remember the death of their brothers with prayers on the same bridge where murders first happened on their way to Tahrir. They are back to Tahrir two years later with disappointment. The police are dealing with excessive violence for days now. We are here to say we will not go back. And if the president thinks we'll get scared, we no longer do. He can't read the situation and he will fall with his brother. To tone down the tension, President Morsi invited the opposition to national dialogue. But the NSF Union of the Opposition declined the invitation once again. There is no use of having a dialogue while we know it will not produce any difference. Therefore, we will only go to dialogue when the president provides guarantees. This will happen when he accepts our demands. On the other hand, Islamic powers hold the opposition responsible for the violence that threatens to spread in the streets. Violence spread and hopes fade away with smoke that filled Egyptian cities. Between the stubborn political powers, the presidency and the opposition, the citizens and policemen who are paying the price. Adam Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.